What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to run a Facebook ad for your small business. So my goal here is to give you a complete Facebook advertising tutorial. So if you're brand new to Facebook ads and you're kind of like, hi, I just don't really know how to go through and set these up or you've heard kind of mixed opinions whether Facebook ads work or they don't work, I wanna kind of break down those barriers, show you guys maybe why they haven't worked and show you guys how to actually make those work. So I've worked with now over the last um, 18 months or so, I've worked with over 3,000 small business owners, primarily working with real estate agents, mortgage brokers and other local business owners. And also in the last 18 months, I've been able to go through and generate $1.5 million in revenue strictly from Facebook ads. So guys, if you kind of heard like mixed opinions and reviews and all that stuff of like, I don't know if they really work or not work and all that good stuff, they work. They work amazingly well. You just kind of have to have the right person to break it down and explain it to you. So I hope that I'm that right person today. And also, if you guys want my free Facebook ads mini course, it's a $97 value. All you gotta do is drop a comment down below and also, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're brand new here, my name's Jason Wardrop. I specialize in lead generation, going through and growing your business, marketing your business online. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel where we launch new videos every single week helping you go through and generate more leads, grow your business, and all that good stuff. So if you guys do want that Facebook ads mini course, drop a comment below, give it a thumbs up, and let's jump into things, guys. Let's break down why maybe you're not having success with Facebook ads or if you've heard other people saying like, oh, I don't know, Facebook ads don't really work. Now, this is the typical story of what people do. They'll go through, they'll create a Facebook page, which is obviously pretty easy because it's 100% free. It takes about 30 seconds to go set it up. They'll go through, they'll make a post. If we come down here to one of my more recent posts, so this is my, um, my pinned post up here at the top of my page. They'll go through and make a post like this one right here. And they'll be like, okay, I want more people to see it because I want to generate leads, I want to make sales or whatever it might be. And then they'll come over here and be like, oh, boost posts. Like that means it's gonna more people are gonna see this. So they'll click on this, and it's really easy to go through and set up this post to be boosted so that more people in your community or in your target audience are gonna see this. Okay, now if you've done this before and you're like, Jason, this just does not work at all. I've tried it, I didn't get any leads or whatever. You're exactly right, okay? Now, if you go through and you click boost post and click boost right here, Facebook has so much data on all of their different users. So, they know which users are more likely to like and comment on a post, which ones are more likely to become leads, which ones are more likely to buy something online, or those even more likely to watch a video. Okay, now, if you click on boost post and you click boost right here on this little Facebook post and you target to people in your local community or people in your target audience, it's gonna go through and show your post to people more likely to like or comment on that Facebook post. Okay, so that's probably not what you want. You probably are looking to generate leads. You're probably looking to make sales. Obviously, this is really good to get a lot of um, exposure on that post. But if you've kind of gone through and you haven't seen results, that's probably because this is exactly what you're doing. And Facebook's just showing it to the wrong people because, you know, it's not your fault. You just didn't know that that's who they go through and show it to, right? So let's jump over here to the Facebook Ads Manager. And I want to show you guys how to set this up so you're actually showing your ads to the right people based on what your objectives are, whether it's to generate leads, make sales, or if you do want likes and comments, or if you want people to view your video or whatever it might be. So you can see right here, this is just a test account. So I'm actually having it shut down here because I don't really use it. But just for the sake of this example, what we're gonna do is come over here to create a campaign. So that green button right there is to create a new Facebook advertising campaign. Now, if you went through and you made a post on your Facebook page, so for example, like this one, you still can use you still can use this post by setting up things on the back end. Okay, and I'll show you guys how to do that here in just a second. Okay, so if we come over here, it says, what's your marketing objective, right? Now, remember how I said when you click boost posts, that only is gonna show people more likely to like and comment on your post? Well, look at all these other objectives right here, okay? So brand awareness, that's just gonna get you tons and tons of reach, kind of similar with this one right here. Or the consideration, traffic, that means if you're trying to get people to click to your website, to your blog, or you just want people to go to a certain destination online, Engagement right here, this one's just like the boost post. So that's gonna get more people to like and comment on your Facebook post. App installs, obviously if you have a mobile app, they're gonna get more app installs. Video views, people watching your videos. And you can go through and say, hey, 
I want to shoot people that uh, or I want to target people Okay, that are gonna be watching three seconds of the video 10 seconds of the video 50% of the video 95% of the video and the cool thing is actually you can go through and create custom audiences by how much people have watched of your videos. Now, I cover all that in detail in my Facebook ads mini course. So as I mentioned earlier, guys, if you guys want that, make sure you guys drop a comment below, thumbs up the video, and I'll share that with you guys as well. So um, also, we have lead generation. Okay, now lead generation, this is using Facebook lead forms. Okay, it's a little form that when they click on your post or your ad, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna have you know their name, phone, email. The cool thing about this is it pre-populates with the information that Facebook has on file. So if you've kind of done stuff before and you're like, man, I'm getting bogus leads or whatever, this is a very good option to consider to eliminate a lot of the, the bogus leads like you know test at gmail.com or nope at nope.com or something like that, right? And then messages. This is kind of tying in with Facebook's Messenger platform, which is really cool. You can have that engagement. Instead of following up via email or text, you can follow up through Facebook message. And then conversions, this is one I actually really like. I use this a lot. This is going through and using a landing page. Now, um, if you're kind of like, Jason, I don't really know the difference between a landing page and my main website, my main homepage, that is also in the Facebook Ads mini course because um, when you use a landing page versus sending people to your main website, you're gonna see about 10 to 25 times more leads when you're sending people to a landing page as opposed to just your main website or your blog. Okay, so um, I cover all that. I'd like, obviously, there's a ton and ton of information that I can go through and cover, but I wanna to get to um, kind of choosing one of these objectives and then showing you how to target the audience, how to set up the ad. And then I've also got a few ad examples up here and kind of give you an idea of how to actually set up your ad is you're going through and creating all this so so for this example let's just say we're going for traffic okay now traffic this is not like you're on the freeway right this is not like uh, you know you got stop and go traffic all the red lights this is sending people so someone sees your Facebook ad or your Facebook post as they're scrolling through their newsfeed on their phone or on their laptop and then they click on that post and then it sends them to your website Okay, or your blog or to your landing page or wherever you're wanting to send them. All right, so that's what this traffic one's all about. So if we click on this, we can give it a campaign name. So let's just say we're gonna do like traffic and then we'll just do demo right here for this example. Okay, so we'll go through, we'll hit continue. Okay, so now we, we get to, you can see like we're breaking it down. So we've got the campaign, which is basically your objective, right? Like what do you want to actually do? You wanna generate leads, send people to your website, people to watch your videos whatever it might be, and the ad set, this is getting into your targeting. Like, who do you want to target? Do you want to target people in your local community? What age do you want them to be? Do you want to be male, female? Uh, do you want to display target specific interests? What is your budget? Uh, you want to spend $5 a day? Do you want to do a lifetime budget of $100 for the whole month? All that different stuff. And then, once we have the campaign objective selected, which we've already done that, we'll dive in, we'll go through this ad set level, at that point, we can go through and create our Facebook ad. Okay, so right here, let's just give it a, a, a name really quick. We can just say um, test demo right here. And normally, I like to give it a name based off of who I'm targeting. So if I'm targeting people in Dallas within a 10 mile radius, ages 45 to 55, I like to kind of go through and put that right in here. So when I'm going back and looking at my advertising campaigns, I can see kind of a quick look at which ones are performing better than others. Okay, so we're gonna go through, do traffic, website right there. We don't need to mess it with any of that stuff. And then we go down to the audience. Now, guys, this is where it starts to really get dialed in with who we wanna target. And in that Facebook Ads mini course I was talking about, I show you how you can go through and create custom audiences of people who have already watched one of your videos on Facebook. Okay, people have already visited your website people that already are your leads, so your contacts, you can actually import all of your contacts, whether you have their email, their phone numbers, or whatever information you have, import that in, so you've got this like warm market of people that already know exactly who you are. Now, those, those uh, ads are actually gonna perform a lot better than if you're just going through and targeting a cold market, but the nice thing is, is it's nice to do a little bit of both, because then you can go through and get more exposure of people that have no idea who you are, but then you can also have maybe an ad running for a dollar, two dollars a day to your warm market, 
and be able to generate leads for a lot less Okay, so for this example, let's just say we are a realtor in Dallas. All right, so Where we go through um, and as I mentioned guys the custom audiences that I talk about in the Facebook Ads mini course that is all down um, right here where you can go through and create them, select them, and do all that good stuff. But we hit, we're not going to hit that right now in this video. Okay, so we're going to say we're a Dallas realtor, or you could say you're a Dallas restaurant or gym owner or whatever business you're in, right? It kind of just is the same type of idea. So instead of saying locations, United States, we are going to put our local area. Okay, so we're just going to say Dallas, Texas. We'll click right there. Now, this is really cool, guys, based on what business you're in. Okay, like if you're a restaurant, you probably don't want to do a 25 mile radius, but you might want to do just a 10 mile radius. Okay, or you can even see like up here it says current city only. Okay, because you're like, hey, I'm a restaurant, so people are probably not going to come 10 miles just to go to my restaurant. So you want to go through and get that super dialed in. Now, uh, depending if you're, you know, let's say if you're a restaurant, you probably would want to use every one of this location. Whereas if you're a local gym or a local realtor like this example, you probably want to do people who live in this location. Okay, because everyone in this location, that means they could be there visiting for work, they could just pass them through or whatever it might be, which if you have a business where, you know, like they, they've got to be there to actually like buy a home or they're there for, you know, to, to go to a gym or anything like that. You don't really necessarily want to target just everyone. You want to get pretty specific. Now, obviously, look at these cool things. If you have like a tourist business, you say, hey, I only want to hit people traveling in this location. So you can do some pretty cool things with Facebook advertising right here. So let's just do people who live in this location because we're going to go through and give more of the um, like a realtor example, right? So now we come down, we choose our, our age range. Okay, now someone looking to buy a home. They're probably going to be I would say minimum age is about 25 right and it could go up to 65 plus you can kind of dial it in like if you like to work with the younger community or kind of like the middle age community or more of the older community you can kind of go through and target based on that and then obviously if uh, you're going through and selling homes you want just all genders right you don't want to be specific to men or women um, but obviously if you run like let's say a fitness gym and the focus is just women or just men, men or whatever it might be. You can go through and target that. And then also languages here. I typically like to leave it open ended, but you can come in here just to kind of show you guys. You can say, "Hey, I just want target English speakers." Okay, or maybe you want to go through and work with the Hispanic market. So you would might type in, "Hey, I'm going to type in Spanish and just hit people that speak Spanish." So you can see there's 450 thousand people. That's a pretty good market right there. All right, so let's just leave it at that. Um, I'm, I'm not going to target any language because you know whether they speak Spanish, English, I, I'm fine with that. Okay, so we've got 1.8 million people there, and then we come down. We can choose some detailed targeting based on what business you're in. You might want to target. Okay, so like let's say um, home owners. Okay, so like you can still come in here. You can see, hey, the interests of homeowners or demographics right here, guys. People that own homes. So if you're looking to go through and help people sell their homes. You might want to go through and target homeowners right there. Okay, so that that goes through and that drops it down quite a bit because not everyone obviously owns a home. A lot of people are probably renting in the area, and so just you want to think about okay, like what type of advertising campaign am I running? Who do I want to target? And then go through. You can include some detailed targeting here. Now, lots of times what I like to do just right out of the gate, I don't really like to include targeting. I like Facebook just to go through. Their advertising algorithms are actually extremely smart and so they a lot of times can go through and find the ideal people based on your ad just you just got to give it a few days maybe three four five days to go through and kind of like learn some information on who your target audience is and who's clicking on that ad who's, who's opting in and all that stuff and so lots of times I like to just leave it open right here okay now um, connections I usually just kind of leave this open-ended I just don't touch it and then placements. Now this is big, guys. When they say automatic placements, this is recommended. I don't necessarily always recommend that. Okay, so basically that's saying, hey, we're going to show your ads on Facebook, on Instagram, on you know, on our um, advertising networks, all these different platforms. So I usually like to go to edit placements, and you guys can get a general idea of the different places you can go through and show these ads. Okay, so you can even say, hey, I only want to go. And show people on mobile or only show to people on their desktop 
Um, but for this, just to simplify, I normally leave it on all devices right here, which is recommended. Okay, so I'll just leave it at that. And then you can see all these different options, guys. Like, look at this. Facebook, you got their news feed, instant articles, you got the right hand column, like when you're scrolling through on your desktop, you got the marketplace, you got the Instagram feed, you can pop it up into the Instagram stories up at the top. You guys have probably seen some of those ads. Then you got the audience network and then also Messenger. When people are scrolling through a Messenger on their phone, they can see an ad and you can see kind of like what the ads are going to actually look like. Now, if you're brand new, just starting out, guys, I would just say uncheck everything besides the Facebook news feeds. And if you want to do Instagram news feed, that's totally cool too. But I go through and just uncheck all of this and just keep it to like people scrolling through Facebook on their phone or on their desktop or scrolling through Instagram. And I like to just kind of keep it basic at that. Okay, so now we'll scroll down and this is where we can go through and create our budget, right? So we've got a daily budget or a lifetime budget. Now, if you want to say, hey, I only want to spend $100 total on this campaign, I would use a lifetime budget and you can go through and set the start and end date and how much you want to actually spend or you can say hey I want to do a daily budget and maybe you want to start out with just ten dollars a day Okay, or maybe five dollars a day or whatever the budget that works and fits within your Advertising budget there, but I usually like if you do have the budget I usually like to start out about ten dollars a day just because you're able to go through and get the data back from Facebook and see if campaigns are working or not working you're able to see it a lot quicker So, you know if you're spending only five dollars a day It's gonna take maybe two to three times longer to see if that campaign's working as opposed to if you're spending 10 to even $15 per day. Okay, now if we come down here, I usually like to just kind of leave the optimization for ad delivery just, just as is. A lot of the stuff I just leave it as is. And honestly, there's a lot of like high-end advanced stuff that you can get into, but a lot of times kind of the basic general idea of what Facebook gives you, it's good enough. It, you don't really need to go through and get all you know particular about what's checked on, what's checked off setting like a bid cap and all that stuff it's just stuff that you really don't need to go through and optimize right now so we're just gonna hit continue guys and now at this point this is where we can go through and set up our actual Facebook ad now let me jump over here I wanted to show you guys a couple of these ads and just show you how they're broken down and why I do the different things that we do so this is an image ad okay so you can go through and you can use a video here. You can use an image. You can go through. There's one that's called a carousel where you can actually add multiple images or multiple videos. Um, so, so some pretty cool different things there. But you can you go. What you want to do, kind of the structure of an ad, is you want to call out your audience. Okay. So I would say, hey, your city or your county homeowners, and we're looking for people looking to sell their home. We're going to say, hey, attention, you know, Dallas homeowners, right? Or if you're a restaurant, you can say, hey. Um, Dallas foodies right or do you like to work out in Dallas or you know just like calling out that specific audience and then what I like to do is kind of ask some type of question to pique their interest hey do you want to increase the value of your home now if I'm looking at this I'm seeing hey I'm a Dallas homeowner okay and you say hey do you want to increase the value of your home of course you want to increase the value of your home right so you kind of pique their interest and then you get initial call to action hey go through click here and this is taking them to a landing page. So I'll just show you guys kind of what that looks like right here. So it says, hey, look, seven simple tips for raising the value of your home before selling. Get the tips. They put in their email or you could go for the name, phone, email, depending on what you're going for. This is obviously just a demo um, right here. But then you go through and maybe add a little bit more value. Okay. So if they didn't, if they're like not totally sold to go click and opt in right there, you can say, hey, by the way, I've compiled a free report of the seven simple hacks. I tell my clients to raise the value of their home. Or let's say if you're a local restaurant, um, we do awesome like Taco Tuesday where we have like 50% off all of our tacos. Or hey, you know if you're a gym owner, hey, we've got a, an awesome seven day um, free like membership or something like that. Just kind of like get you kind of peeked into there. And then I always like to close out with another call to action, which is send them to the same landing page. And then thanks, and then your name to kind of add some personalization to it. All right. So if we break this down again really quick. You've got the you're calling out your target audience. Okay, you're piquing their interest with some type of question, right? Which is kind of like a no-brainer question, like, hey, you know, Dallas residents, are you looking to get fit for the summer? Like that that's really targeting that that specific market right there. Or like, you know, Dallas foodies, um, would you like to try the best new barbecue place in town or whatever it might be, right? And then you're kind of sending them there and then you can go through and send like write another line of some different bonus or some value that they're gonna get when they go through and opt in. 
So another one, I'll show you guys really quick. I'm not gonna break down exactly step by step like I did the last one, but it's a very similar one, but this one is obviously a video, which is cool because like, as I mentioned, that Facebook advertising mini course I've got for you guys, um, I show you how to go through and identify the people who've watched three seconds of your video, 10 seconds of your video, 25%, 50%, and so on. So it's really cool because then you can know like, hey, this person's not a completely cold um, audience, right? They, they've actually seen my video. They have probably a little bit of an idea of who I am, who, what my business is, and how I can go through and help them. Okay, so now let's just jump back over to the Facebook Ads Manager. So this is where we are gonna go through and create our ad, or as I mentioned earlier, guys, if you you know already made your post and you're like, hey, I just wanna use that post, I don't wanna have to recreate it, you can click on Use Existing Post right here. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna select our Facebook business page that we've got. You can see I've got, um, I've actually got a few to over here, but we come through, I select the Jason Wardrop one because that's the one I wanna use. You can even go through and select what Instagram account if you wanna run it on Instagram as well. And if you don't have an Instagram account connected, you can just say, hey, use my Facebook page as that Instagram account, okay? And then coming down, we'll just go through and click select post. And it'll pop up all the posts that you've recently posted. So like, let's say for this one, um, I wanna post this one right here. And so now it's just gonna show this. And then at this point, all we gotta do is hit confirm. And that's it, the, the, ad, the ad is completely set up. Now, let's go back, let's say you don't have an existing post, you wanna create this completely from scratch. So we first wanna select the Facebook page, right? And then we could choose the format right here, okay? Now I showed you guys, we have the image ad, we've also got the video ad, we've got these different options right here. And so there, honestly guys, I don't necessarily prefer one or the other, um, they're both good for different reasons, kind of depending on what you're wanting to go through and show. If you want to go and give an inside look, a tour of your restaurant or an open house or a, you know, of your gym or whatever business you're in, obviously a video would be kind of nice to kind of like just show people inside. And the cool thing is, guys, with this, I don't recommend, so like this one right here, this is a very professional video. These actually don't perform as well as just kind of like a normal basic video shot with your iPhone or your whatever mobile phone you use. Okay, so I would highly recommend just going through, keeping it basic. You don't have to go through and have a massive marketing advertising budget for all this. So just go through and use your phone as you're going through and setting all this up. Okay, so now you can go through, you can choose, hey, single image, single video, slideshow. So I like to usually um, start with either the single image like I showed you guys earlier or even the single video. And then right here, you can go through and upload an image from your desktop. Like let's say maybe you've got an image of your gym or of a home that you're looking to sell or you know your restaurant, whatever it is. Or you can even go through and you can use some free stock images as you're going through. So like let's say you are a, um, a realtor, right? That's kind of the example we're using. So we wanna go through and use a home. Okay, so we go through, we click on this. And like you can see, it's got a watermark. When it goes live, it's not gonna show the watermark, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna hit confirm, okay? So now it's gonna pop up. It's gonna show us the ad right here. And then let's say our website, I'll just pull up my website right here, arcelmkg.com. Let's just throw that in. That's This is where we're trying to send people to, okay? And then we'll, we'll use kind of like that same method. Now, just for just sake of time, guys, I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here. And we'll come back over here into this text spot, see where it says home. All we're gonna do is just like go through and put that right in here. And then the cool thing is, is we've got some of these templates for you guys. So we can say Dallas homeowners and just kind of fill in your own information. So you can say, hey, get my tips here and link out to, um, we've got our website up here, which guys, if you guys go through my, my Facebook ads mini course, drop a comment down below, give it a thumbs up. I show you guys the difference of why you should use a landing page as opposed to your main website. Obviously this one I'm just using um, our main website. I highly recommend not doing that. I, I, I just wouldn't, okay? And then you can say down here, hey, thanks, your name, Jason Wardrop, okay? So now we come down here. You got the headline right here. So um, you can say like, hey, uh, Dallas homeowners increase the value of your home. Something like that, right? So like go through, kind of grab their attention right there. And then I like to do for the call to action, you got all these different options or you could even say, hey, no button. I like to do learn more because if somebody's interest is peaked, 
like they do te technically want to learn more, right? And so instead of saying like sign up or like, you know, request time, it's kind of a little bit like sign up almost is a little bit standoffish. So I like to kind of do learn more because it's like, hey, I'm curious. I would like to learn more. Okay, then down here, add an overlay image. I just leave that. Multiple languages, just leave that. I won't necessarily show that. You know, display link, optional. I just probably leave that for right now. The newsfeed link description. So you guys can see over here, um, this is the mobile newsfeed. And if we want to check and see like what it looks like on different platforms, we can just scroll through. And so this is what it would look like on your desktop newsfeed. And that's where this newsfeed link description would be. Okay, so we can say like, hey, um, increase the value of your home something like that and then you'll see it's gonna pop up down over here but I think because our headlines so long I think that's why it's not popping up so normally if your headlines not super long it will pop up down over here it's not gonna actually pop up on your mobile or you know or even on Instagram so this isn't like super super important but if you want to go through and add that you totally can then you can see right here this is what's looking like on Instagram so it's kind of nice to be able to go through and sort through and see what it looks like on these different platforms there and then all we have to do is just hit confirm and we have now gone through and created our advertising campaign right guys so that was kind of like a, a you know a quick run through I wanted to show you guys all the different steps and why you should be using the Facebook Ads Manager as opposed to boosting your posts you want to make sure you get the right objectives but if you're looking to use like you know lead forms like I talked about where it's got that little form that pops up and Facebook automatically fills in the information with the name phone number and email address or if you guys want to go through and create custom audiences with people visiting your website already or watching videos or you know people that are already on your email list or in your contact database be able to market specifically just to them um, I have that all in my Facebook ads mini course so drop a comment below give it a thumbs up I'll get you guys that 100% for free. I'm not trying to charge you guys anything. I'm just trying to go through, help you out. I was, I've been actually listening to Gary Vaynerchuk's new book. It's called Crushing It. It's awesome. If you guys have not gone through and got that, or read it, or listened to it, or whatever, I highly recommend it. it. Talks about going through and building your personal brand to take your business to the next level. Okay, and he talks about you know Facebook ads, the importance of that, and how you can go through and and grow your business more and more. And so, honestly, guys. I just want to provide you guys with some massive value because I know how it's helped my business and what it's done for me and also countless of other business owners. I've worked with now over 3,000 business owners and I've seen what it's done for them. If you can go through and properly implement what the Facebook advertising platform gives you and allows you to do, you can be extremely successful and it can be a total game changer for your business. So as I mentioned you guys earlier, if you guys want that, drop a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys don't mind, let me know what you guys thought of this tutorial. I know there's like the Facebook ads manager. Honestly, guys, we could be on here for four to five hours, but I know you probably don't have the time um, to go through and sit through all that stuff. That's why in that Facebook ads mini course, I've broken it down into little 10 to 15, maybe 20 minute videos to kind of show you different aspects of the Facebook ads manager, how to get your business going and, and bring it to the next level. Okay, so anyway, thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you guys are brand new here, my name is Jason Wardrop. If you like content like this, you want more of it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell because we will go live from time to time so I can go through, show you guys different things, you can jump on, ask questions. I can answer those live and help you guys out with your business the best of my ability. And on this channel, I like to go through and share with you how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business. So if that's anything that you're interested in, make sure you guys subscribe. And thanks so much for watching today, and I will see you all tomorrow.